Yes. 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 So maybe we could start from uh, this is the question of uh, it's on page fifty three, December twenty twelve. December 2012, question number 1A. December 2012, <coughs> question 1A, we are told Medicine Limited is a pharmaceutical company that manufactures two types of cough syrups, Rara and Farana. The total revenue producing the cough syrups are, is given by so we have the total cost and the total revenue. And we are told to get the maximum profit. So this one is a case of what we call partial differentials. It's a case of a partial differential. Partial differential. And you begin by saying, that total profit, we are looking for total profit, it is total revenue, it is total revenue minus total cost. We are looking for total profit, it is total revenue minus total cost. So profit is usually presented by pi. When we say that the pi means profit, uh, so the total revenue is minus thirty-eight four hundred s minus thirty-six l squared plus four thirty-eight s squared plus two million. That is the total revenue. You minus the total cost, which is given as one million, minus 486 S squared, minus 324 SL, Minus twenty seven L squared. So we open the bracket now so that you get minus that eight four hundred S minus that six L squared plus four that eight S squared plus 2 million minus 1 million plus 486 S square plus 24 SL plus 27 L square. So you how they are open there. So we seek to put right terms together. This S does not have a, a similar value, so it remains on its own. Minus 38, 400 S. <coughs> this L, it has a colleague. This L, 36, and this 27. So minus 36 plus 27 will be minus 9. 
minus uh, 9L square. This S, 438, it will join this 486. So if you take your calc, you see 438 plus 486 is coming to 924 S squared. 924 S squared. Then this 2 million and this 1 million. So that you are to understand plus 1 million. And then this SL does not have a colleague. So plus 324 SL. So now, that is the profit function. So for maximum profit, if you are looking for maximum profit, for maximum profit, we say, if you differentiate pi with respect to S, with respect to S, it should be equal to zero. It should be equal to zero, rather it should be equal to, it is the same thing as when you differentiate y with respect to L, <coughs> and it should give you zero. It is called partial because you can see we have two independent variables, the one that are on this side. We have S and we have L. So the differential of pi with respect to S, will be equal to so when you are differentiating a function eh? when you are differentiating a function same y is equal to x raised power n eh? yeah. the differential of uh, that y with respect to x you take the original power n then you less you, the, the original power, you multiply the original function, then you subtract one from the original power. That is how we go about it when we are talking to differentiate. So this one, it has S. So S is raised to power one. So you multiply by one here so that you get, uh, and then this one will remain as zero. So we left with minus 13, 400. Eh? So this would be minus 38 is 400. May I, or I write it? Because of I. I. Then this one does not have S. So when it does not have S, it becomes uh, zero. When it does not have S, it becomes zero. This one has S. So you take two times this one. So it will be plus 1848s. This one does not have s, so it's a constant, it becomes zero. This one has s, so it will be 324l. 324l. Now this one you say is equal to zero and call it function one. You now differentiate pi with respect to L. You differentiate pi with respect to L. So to do the upper, this one does not have L, so it becomes zero. This one has L, so it becomes minus 18 L. This one does not have L, becomes zero. The same case, this becomes zero. But this one, it has one L, so in a back in 324S. 324S is equal to zero. That one, we call it question number two. So now, uh, 
uh, removing uh, what has now been segregation. The other time we are using the matrix method. So we want to use segregation. <clears throat> so removing uh, L, removing L from equations one and two. We want to remove L from equations one and two. You take this equation two, which is, uh, you can actually now change this one. You see this one? I know L and my S to come to this side. So we take uh, 324 L plus 1848 S is equal to 38400. Then now you bring minus 18 L plus 324 S is equal to zero. You see now the coefficients of L are not the same. So if you want them to be the same, so here you multiply by 18 and here you multiply by 324. You multiply by the opposite coefficients. You multiply by the opposite coefficients. Uh, when you multiply by opposite coefficients, you will say 324 times 18 is 58, that's 2. L, 58, that's 2L. Uh, plus 18, 48 times 18 is that 3. 264L, no S, it is now S. Z equals 2, but 8400 times 18, 691, 200. Uh, then this one of here is going to be minus 58, that's 2L, plus 324 times 324. Is one four nine seventy six S is equals to zero. So for it to go, what you need to do is to add. If you add, this becomes zero. Uh, then one of four plus that three. 264. This is 138, 240 S, is equals to 691, 200. And therefore, when you divide, you get S is five units. S is five units. Uh, substituting in equation number two, substituting in equation two, we get minus 18L plus 324 times five is zero. So if you multiply this by 324, we divide by 18. We get L is 90 units. L is 90 units. Thus, maximum profit. There is a function we have gotten. Is a function we have gotten for the profit time. Here, you can now have that differentiated. 
was what? It was minus 38. Minus 38, what? Minus 38. 400. 400. Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 So times 5. Uh -huh. Plus, plus, uh -huh. minus 9. L squared, eh? Yeah. Times 90 squared. Uh -huh. Plus, plus, 924. 924 times 5 squared times 5 squared plus 1 million plus 2 million. Uh, uh, oh, two, 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 one million. Yeah, yeah. 1 million. Yeah, yeah. 1 million. Yeah. 1 million. One million. Plus, three plus 3 plus 3 24 times, yeah. times 5 yeah. times 90. Yeah. Times, yeah. Yeah, so that is how we shall get the profit. So the answer is nine four five. So I think that's okay. We have answered the questions here. So much more profit. <coughs> the next question is uh, June 2013, question one. This is also public function as well. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. The first one is the Yes, that the total profit function. Yes. So <clears throat> we are now solving June twenty thirteen. Question number one B. June twenty thirteen. Question one B. So it says that electronic company manufactures and sells its computers. The marginal cost in thousands is given by the expression MC is equal to X plus 50, where X is the number of computers produced and sold. Fixed cost amount to 500,000. However, total revenue function is unknown, but the sales manager is convinced that the total revenue can be presented by a quadratic function. The sales manager gathered the following data on sales of the computers. So we are given that and we are told to get the total profit function. Now, before we do that, we need to develop total revenue function. We need to develop total revenue function. So total revenue function. Total revenue function. When you are developing a function, it's good to know the format. So this one we have been told is quadratic. 
So the format of quadratic, because you are told is quadratic, eh? it's quadratic, it is R is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. That is the format. And uh, it's not all the times that we shall be using R, you can use an engineer depending on what it is you are looking for. But the format is that there should be an X square, an X, and a constant. So we take the first value, that is 1650. 1650 is equals to 10. 10 is our X. So 10 squared is 100. So 100 B plus 10 B plus C. And this one is called equation one. It's called equation one. Then we substitute in the next one, that three, 75 is equal to uh, 25 squared is 625. Right? So 625e plus 25b plus c. Because uh, uh, we can see 10. 10 is our x. So you square as per this one. You see? Okay. Square. Then this other one is for two hundred is equals to so matter where we are both we get six point five then so now we have uh, forty forty square would be sixteen hundred right? sixteen hundred a plus 40B plus C, that is number three. Right. Now you have three questions. We saw using the initial method. So we are going to see removing the C. From you look for the one that is easier, okay. and the easier to remove, and it is easier if eh? the, co the coefficients are similar. Now, no, this is one, one, one. This one is 10, 25, 40. So, those ones are not similar. These ones are also not similar. But you can pick any, then you make them to be similar, like what we have done with the other one. Yes. But I know even this one, somewhere we are going to do that. So, from one and two. <coughs> So it will be 1650 is equals to 100A plus 10B plus C. Then uh, that 375 is equals to 625A plus 25B plus C. Now, this one you subtract. You say minus. So that they go. So this one we are going to have sixteen fifty uh, minus that three seventy five uh, minus seventeen twenty five uh, is equals to one hundred minus six twenty five is five twenty five e and this is minus fifteen b. So this one you call it question number four. <clears throat> uh, then you say moving C from equation two and three. You now pick equation two and equation three. Utapata that three seventy five. Being equal to 625A plus 25B plus C, then for 200 is equal to 1600A 
plus 40B plus C. So if you subtract the same uh, 823 by 825, that is negative, that they are 825 equals to 625 minus 1675 minus 9 minus 975 minus 15 B. That is equation number four. Uh, then removing B, removing B from equation four and five, we have minus seventeen twenty-five being equal to minus five twenty-five A minus fifteen B. <coughs> Minus eight twenty five is equals to minus nine seventy five a minus fifteen b. So if you want uh, b to disappear, <coughs> what you shall do is to minus. Yes. So now if you say Minus 1725 minus minus 825, you are left with minus 900 being equal to minus 525 minus minus 975 is 450 e. You are left with 450 e. My phone is not sure. A will be negative two. A will be negative two. So A will be minus two. Uh, then using equation four, using equation four or five, whichever you prefer, but let's use four. So minus seventeen twenty-five is equal to minus 525 times minus 2 minus 15b. So from there, <coughs> we'll be able to get uh, b. So you know how to change yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Right? So this will be minus uh, 1725 minus Five twenty five times divided by fifteen. So B will be one eighty five. It's okay. Eh? Yeah, you divide by fifteen and you are Yes. Up to the other side, so you need to divide by fifteen. Okay. So B be minus seventeen twenty five. <clears throat> this will be then 50 yeah. minus 15b. So we are left with uh, minus 1725 okay. minus 1050 equals minus 15b. So this is minus 2775 equals to minus 15b. Therefore, when you divide by Thank you.
then using equation one, using equation one, equation one in Kuahapa. So we are going to say 1650 is equals to 100 times minus two plus 10 times 185 uh, plus C. So that is straightforward. C now should be equal to 1650 plus 200 minus 1850. So C is zero. Thus R is minus 2x squared plus 185x. So that is how we form a quadratic function. Yeah. Oh, it's still you don't have yeah, you don't keep on doing it. Yeah. So the next thing now, we are looking for total revenue, right? total profit. We're looking for total profit. Total profit. Yeah. So I need now to know the total costs. I need to know the total cost. Total cost function. Total cost function. Total cost function. Uh, what you are given is the marginal cost. <clears throat> now, anytime you are looking for a total, eh? there are three ways in which you can get a total. There are three ways in which you can get that. Right? One, you can multiply. Number two, you can add. And number three, you can take it. Those are the three ways of getting a product. You can either multiply or add or integrate. Now you use integration anytime you are given marginal. Anytime you see marginal, right? that is integration. Anytime you see marginal, that is integration. Multiplication is a kawaii Okay. I'm not my space I have to share for, so let me clear because we already know the function. Yeah. So to the same, there are those three ways of getting a function, I mean, uh, the total. So we are now looking for, we are now looking for total costs. Total cost function. So the total cost will be the integral of the marginal costs. So we are going to integrate the marginal costs. So the marginal cost, we are told it is x plus 50 with respect to x. <clears throat> So anytime you are given the marginal, it should be about integration. <clears throat> when you are integrating 
you take a bad rating. Now this one is this power one current. It's only that you don't keep on writing. Remember, integration is the reverse process of differentiation. Remember, and uh, remember what you were differentiating, we were multiplying first and then subtracting. So to reverse, you add and then you divide. So we add back one here, then you divide by the new power. This one, which is 50, which is 50 is uh, x to the power c. So you add back one, you divide by the new power, zero plus one. And then you add c. Now c represents any constant that could have become zero when you are differentiating. Uh, so this becomes x squared you divide by two plus 50x plus. Now when you are in a revenue function, c becomes zero. So now I put the developer of uh, c was zero. So c is zero. But when you are in a cost function, c is the fixed cost. C is the fixed cost. So the fixed cost by the total is 500. Okay? So put 500. <coughs> so now we have our total cost function. So if we have our total cost function, the next thing is, <coughs> sorry, is to get the total profit function. Total profit function pi. We already know that if we are looking for total profit, it is total revenue minus total cost. So total revenue to show what it was minus two uh, x squared plus one into five x. Here is total revenue minus total cost. So if I don't have two, I can write 0 0.5. See that? Yes. X squared plus 50 X minus 500. So this opens up as minus 2 X squared plus 1 into 5 X minus 0 0.5 X squared minus 50x minus 500. We put right terms together so that this square, we join this one, and we are left with minus 2.5x squared. This one, this one in the five, to join this 50, to the one that's right there. So, plus 135, X. And then this one is left on its own minus 500. That's what the profit function. So when they ask you of the maximum profit, if you are told to get maximum profit, you are told to get maximum profit. They ask you of the maximum profit. To the same, we take this function for the profit, we differentiate. So the same, the differential with respect to x, we differentiate this minus 2.5x squared plus 135x okay. minus 500. Now, this one should be equal to zero. When you differentiate that, it should be equal to zero. So we start to the same for you differentiating, you multiply by the power, then you minus one. Eh? So you multiply by two, you get minus five x raised to power one. When you raise power one, you don't keep on right one. Yes. Ah, yeah. Plus this one, 135. You back in the zero and don't write in the front. Now remember this one, it, it has x which is raised to power zero. Yes. 
Yes. So when you move to prep by zero, it becomes zero. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I told you when you are integrating, Unaweka hii is mamie any that would have become zero. zero. Yes. So now that is zero, you don't write. So it's equals to zero. And when you say that is equals to zero, then x becomes one that five divided by five. Twenty-seven units. Hence. Why? So you now substitute this answer to the profit function, which is this one. So it's going to be minus 2.5 times 27 squared plus 135 times 27 minus 500. That is Kenya shillings. Getting a one thousand D twenty two point five. Oh, I just have a question. Oh, I think I'm going to say, Oh, sir, you're going to come to So, see you on the other side. Yes. One more question or sorry. There we still need to do some more. Maybe for the assignment, eh? <coughs> we could take this one eh? for the assignment. For the assignment, you take May 2015, question 1C is on page 41. It's on page 41. And what we shall do with that question? Eh? We shall first of all develop quadratic function for marginal cost. Develop quadratic, just like we do develop the algorithm. Once you develop, uh, you get that, eh? you integrate. So, this one they are asking for marginal cost, they are not asking for total cost. They are asking for marginal cost function, yes. Are you there on B41? Yes. 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 So, you see, you have been given these values, and eh? the first requirement is marginal cost function. Mm -hmm. So, with the three of these values, like we have done with the other one for the yeah. you develop marginal cost function. Then for Roman two, this correction. No, no, just double. Okay. Then for this answer, the total cost. Then what you have got here, you integrate so that you get the total cost. Then to answer Roman three by saying the maximum profit. That's now when you use this one. This is the price. So you get the revenue. You get revenue, and revenue is simply P times Q, price times unit. 
So that profit function that you get, that means price function that is given compared by the units. So you get the, the revenue. After that, now you get the profit. Just like now, what we have done here. Then you take the differentiate. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's money. It's money. Yeah. I want to do another one. I want us to do another one. Uh, that is uh, September 2015. Question 1C. It's on page that September. 2015, question 1C. <coughs> so that one we are told a firm has a linear demand function for its product. When the price of the product is shares 220, the quantity demanded is 40. When the price increases to 240, the quantity demand becomes that. In addition, the farm's marginal cost is that. And we are given the fixed cost. Now we are told to get the level that maximizes profits. So anytime you see profit, eh, you must be able to know profit is revenue minus cost. So, so let's look for the revenue function. Total revenue function. <coughs> I have told you there are three ways of getting a total. You can multiply, you can add, and you can integrate. Now, the method to use depends on what you have been given. So, this question we have been given the prices, and we are told the function is linear. So you have to develop a linear function. So linear function format. So the format is P is equals to A minus B Q. B is equals to A minus BQ. So you now substitute those values that you give it. Now, B1, when the price is 220, Q, which are the units, they are 40, so 40B. And this one is called equation one. And then, when the price becomes 240, the number of units become 30. So that's a reason for A to disappear, you subtract. So when you subtract, you have to minus 20 is equal to minus 10 B. And based on that, you are able to get that B is 2. So no. Yes. Uh -huh. Then put it to a B is 220 is equal to A. Minus 40 times 2. And so, based on that, we find that H will be 220 plus 40 times 2, which is 300. And thus, P is equal to 300 minus 2Q. You see how easy it is to form a linear function compared with quadratic. But these are the two kinds of equations we get linear and quadratic. 
Leave me alone, Lord. Leave me alone, Lord. Aye. Now, <clears throat> so now, revenue is price times units. Like what I told you, I'll do the other one. Eh? Price times units. So we are using now the multiplication way to get the total. Yes. So the price we are living with is three hundred minus two q, and q we know it is q. So this becomes three hundred q minus two q squared. So we have the revenue function. <clears throat> Let's now look for the cost function. Total cost function. So total cost function, what you have been given is the margin. And I told you if you have the margin, you will integrate. So we are going to integrate 40q uh, plus 2q squared plus 2. Now with respect to q. With respect to q. <coughs> so to integrate to the same what you do, you take 40q squared, you add back 1. You divide by the mean power, which is 2 plus 1. So you integrate? Yeah, we are now integrating because we have been given the marginal. When you're given marginal, you integrate. I have plus 2q squared, you add back 1, you divide by 2 plus 1. I have then these two. It is 2x is power 0. You add back 1, you divide by 0 plus 1. Then you add c. The cost of q. q. Oh, sorry, q. It's q now. I'm confusing x. We are using the interchange x and q. But see the constant of integration. <coughs> so this becomes. 40 q cubed, you divide by 3, plus 2, was it? That is, plus 2. Yeah. Sorry, no, 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 no. This is 40 q. Yeah, yeah. So we add back 1. <laughs> In how comes we have 3, 2 cubes? So this is two here, yeah. two, and three. The original function is 40 q. Uh, q cubed, you divide by three, plus two q, plus c. Now c is the fixed cost. That's what we have seen, which is uh, five. Now we have the two of them, so we can go looking for total profit function. Total profit function. So the total profit function is supposed to be given at the revenue, which is 300 Q minus 2 Q squared. You minus the total costs, which is now this one becomes a uh, twenty q squared plus two q cubed out of three plus two q plus five. So we open the brackets to get. 300q minus 2q squared 
minus 20 Q squared minus 2 Q cubed out of 3 minus 2 Q minus 5. I will put right terms together <coughs> so that this 300 will join this one so that we are left with 298 eh? Q. Then this square to join so that we are left with minus 22 Q squared. <coughs> then this one is on its own. So minus 2 Q cubed out of 3 minus 5. So from there, <clears throat> we want to get maximum profit. Maximum profit. We want to get maximum profit. We have said what you do, you differentiate this. So we are going to say the differential with respect to Q of 298Q minus 22Q squared minus 2Q cubed you divide by 3 minus 5 should be equal to 0. Should be equal to 0. equal to zero. <clears throat> so this opens up as uh, 298 minus 44Q minus 2Q squared. You can to see that. Because this is one, you multiply here, you get 298. This is two multiply here, you get 44, but it's a one. Then this three, which is upper, it will cancel with this one. That what you have to do, Q squared. Q squared. I don't do Q only. Because then, eh, this is three, or one minus two, minus, minus one, three minus one is two. This one, I minus one, I'm left now with one. This one was one, I minus one, but Z. Okay, so now this one becomes a quadratic formula, a rather quadratic function. You can only solve it using quadratic formula. So you tell us using quadratic quadratic formula using quadratic formula quadratic formula we have equal q is minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4 is c you get the square root of that then you divide by 2a <coughs> So in substituting, in substituting, B is the one which has a Q. C is the one which does not have Q. And uh, A is the one which has Q squared. So B is already minus. So minus minus becomes positive. So we are going to have 44 plus or minus 44 squared minus four times A, which is minus two, times C, which is 298, which is 298.
all this is divided by two times minus two. So this becomes 44 plus or minus. Let us now <coughs> get whatever is in the bracket or in the square root, which is 44 squared will become plus four times two times 298 equals square root of that answer seven. Five point seven two seven. <clears throat> you divide by minus four. So this one that forty four minus five point seven two seven divide by minus four. 44 plus 65.727 divided again by minus 4. So 44 minus 65.727 divided by minus 4 is 5.43. One seven five or forty four plus sixty five point seven two seven divided by minus four is minus twenty seven point four three one seven five. And because now you cannot have units which are negative, you go for the positive. Then. So that means x or q should be 5.43175 units. So, hence, maximum profit, we now put this one in our equation for the profit, which was 298 times 5.4. 22 times 5.43175 squared minus 2 times 5.43175 cubed out of 3 minus 5. All the figures are written in the Yes. That's why I'm using operating the principles. Eh? So, can you share it? So, 298 times 5.4, 3175, minus 22 times 5.4, 3175 squared, minus. Two times five point four three one seven five is power three divided by three minus five. I'm getting eight five seven point seven three six nine five four two. I have the of the of price. So price 
we have the ability of that equation earlier to capture this one. Eh? So it is simply P is equal to 300 minus 2 times 5.43175. So 300 minus 2 times 5.4. Three one seven five. It's two eight nine point one three six five. And the last requirement is elasticity. So elasticity n, we give it as p out of q multiplied by the differential of p with respect to q inverse. That's how we compute it in q a. So the price, the price is uh, 289.1365. You divide by Q. Q is uh, 5.43175 times the differential of P. P was 300 minus 2Q. Yeah. Then all these you raise power minus one. So this one, when I divide by five point four three one seven five, I'm getting fifty three point two three. Times this one becomes minus two raised to the power minus one. So minus two universe times with the three point two three minus twenty six point six one five. So that means there is a minimum so, relationship. So you have three hundred and forty six yeah. and because I not you. The other one is as Q. Uh, which is least power zero. So yeah, we yeah. subtract by zero to comes zero. So we are done that question. So I don't know whether you still have the strength to do any more. Do you do any more questions? Uh, Maybe you can go try another one. You see whether you are uh, able. You do try this one eh? on your own. November 2015. Question 2B. Uh, you can try that. Eh? Okay, it's on page uh, 36. 